This is David Guetta. We're here at my place in Ibiza, and uh, I'm gonna show you my studio today. When as I jump, jump, make body jump, jump, love when he jump, 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 jump. So come in. Welcome to the studio. So this is actually a surprise that my friend did one day. I came back from touring and they put some of my discs on the wall. That was a nice surprise because it's strange, but I've never put any of my discs and my plates up. So this is my place. We spend a lot of time here and uh, I also do a lot of writing camps uh, in my house in Ibiza. So um, this is the main studio where I can do like a final record and I can usually, I test it on the same day uh, when I perform in Ibiza. When I started as a DJ, I, then later I started to make beats I was just focusing on, on you know, the beat itself, the drums, the bass, uh, or like a little melody like this. So, and then I would go to sessions with artists and try to write a song on the top. And usually I don't do this anymore because it's a little bit of a, of a waste of time because the success of re record depends so much on the song that now usually I do in a traditional way songwriting session meaning like playing chords or having someone with the guitar playing chords and then writing a song and then if the song is good enough then i would produce it Sometimes I do it the old fashioned way, the way I used to do it, and especially when I make uh, club beats. So this is an example of this. When I just started with uh, this melody that I, I think is cool. Uh, it's it's a uh, kind of a weird scale. Spill a little, spill a little. Uh -huh. Spill a little like I wanna dance oh. Maybe it'll be, maybe not so. If they ask me, tell them I'm solo. Uh, got I'm on a string like a yo yo. Skin soft, butter like cocoa. I see you go catch a coda. Said you like me, I already know though. Tell them sit down, it's a logo. It's melody. And then my friend Ray came here in this room. And she went crazy when she heard this. They got so excited. <laughs> And that is something that is extremely rare, is that they wrote the song on the top of this melody. Asking me what's my process, that's not my usual process, but it can happen. By the way, oh my God, this is gonna be so good. So we tested that 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 beat and 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 that song, and then we blasted it with the genetic speakers to all the songwriters that were in the house. We we brought everyone because we got so excited. But again, even here, when I recorded the song with them, it was just that original melody that I, I, I just showed you before. Because all the drums and all of this, sometimes it's, it's obliging people writers to go in a certain direction and what i like is to let the track as open as possible so that the writer can really express themselves and that they don't feel like oh this is a four on the floor so it means that it's a club record so it means i'm gonna talk about club stuff so i'm i'm what i want is to for people to be as free as possible as creative as possible <laughs> That's usually the process. And for example, like in 10 days, we wrote 26 songs. So I'm not gonna produce all of them, but out of the 26, I'm probably gonna produce 
let's say six of them and I'm probably going to release three of them. It's, it's, it's a lot of people say, oh, you only make hits. No, it's just that I trash a lot of records that I make that are just okay. I think it's important to be able to be hard with yourself because it's not like I need to release every single record that I make. And sometimes it, it breaks my heart, but sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm testing it. For example, in the club, I see it doesn't react so, so good. So then, you know, it's gonna make me a little sad, but I'm, I'm not gonna keep it. And sometimes you would see me with a pen when I'm even DJing and I would write down some corrections to make and I would come back from, you know, <laughs> my show and, and do small corrections to make it better. I have some new subs that they're really, really crazy. I can show you. And this, this is really bringing the feel of a, of a club. So for club music, the bass obviously is super important. And this is, this is brand new. I got really, really excited. I, I used to have different subs, but they were too much. What I like about this is that I can work on a low volume so that I'm not too tired after a few, a few hours and it's still very precise. So it's like, it's not the, the bass that I had before. I had like a pedal that I would put it on or off because if I would work all day with, with it, it would really make me exhausted. Like this is really pleasant, gives the feeling of how it's going to sound in the club, but it's also realistic. Yeah, this system I really, really love. <laughs> 